Okay, today's video is going to be different. I'm fishing in a tournament today. In the tournament, we're using artificials only and we're targeting redfish, trout, and flounder. We have to take a picture of the fish and then release it. That's how you submit your entries as you take pictures and submit it through an app. I'll tell you what I'm throwing now. This is a 8th ounce Texas eye jig with a 4 inch diesel minnow beer run color. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like right now. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. This tournament was actually sponsored for me by Higher Ground. Higher Ground sponsored me through this tournament. Higher Ground is the local kayak shop. Thought I had a bite. Higher Ground is the local kayak shop and they're a Hobie dealer. They sell these Hobie kayaks. So go check them out if you're in the Beaufort area. This is something I never do if I wasn't in a tournament, but I have a line snagged. And I see a fish, so I'm just leaving the line snagged and throwing my other rod. Oh man, this is some bigger fish. It's going this way. I have to throw it like right there. Start bouncing it right now. You should come chase it. Come on. Any other day, I'd probably catch that fish. We got a fish on, I think it's a decent trout. It's a trout, it's not decent. Just a little one. First fish of the day though. I've only been on the water maybe 10 minutes or so, 15. Definitely not a tournament winner here, but I think it's a, it's a submission. It is eligible to be submitted. I think it only has to be eight inches. <laughs> Won't be much bigger than that. Twelve and a half. Okay, we got a couple of pictures. There we go. That's our first entry into the tournament for a fish. Not gonna win anything. Let him go. Made my first mistake. I school I spooked a big school reds. Alright, I had to do something that I probably already should have started doing, especially in a tournament. Just add some scent to help the bite. I added some pro cure. Maybe shrimp scent. I don't know what it, which one it is. It doesn't matter. Now we have an issue. This is usually where the redfish start showing up. But I have like very limited time in here. I'm definitely seeing movement that indicates redfish. So, I mean, I have to take my time to actually catch them, but I don't have a lot of time. Because I could, I could get stuck in here with this outgoing tide. And I obviously don't want to do that. Especially if these fish aren't biting. It feels like a trout. Honestly, I almost hope it's a trout. I think it is. Bigger than the last one. Yep. See me not fail this when it's really important. There we go. That's bigger than the last one, so that's an upgrade for the tournament. That's that's what we're looking for. Can't believe I haven't caught a red yet, but it's alright. Oh, we came unhooked, huh? I think I already showed this before, but this is like a code identifier that has to be in the picture to prevent cheating and stuff like that. Oh, we got a keeper trout. A little less than 14 and a half. Okay. 
we are good. We we got a good picture. Let him go. It's pretty fast track. Okay, now I need red. I mean, at this point, for now, I'll take any size red. Just a red that I can submit. Redfish. Oh no, come on. I always do this. There's more, there's more up there, they're not spooked. Ah, oh, there were a good amount of big redfish that just swam under me. They're still swimming by me. Dang it. They're still swimming by me. I definitely got too close. But it's like, it's really hard not to in this tiny of a creek. There's gotta be a little bit more up here that I have a shot at that aren't really spooked. Okay, so I'm, I'm now leaving this spot without a redfish. There's gonna be fish right in here. Red or a trout. I'll take it. It's a big trout, I think. Let's see. No, it's a red. Either way, well, at least we got a red. There's big you see the big ones over there though? Yeah, Right? Yeah, don't don't go past me. I gotta get one of those. <laughs> Alright. A little like Definitely not gonna win the tournament, but at least counts towards something. Dang it. You better, it's not that big, is it? You, you, you got it. You got a big, well, not a big trout, but you got a trout. <laughs> Here you are. He's gonna run into my rudder. Come on, you got it. There you go. That's a. Yeah, I don't even remember. I better remember how big it was. Okay, it looked like he was 16 and a half. I got a picture. Let him go. Gotta add some pro care. Probably just dragging on bottom. Oh, look, I drug my bait. Watch, look, look over there. Drug my bait right through him. I can't believe it. I can't believe that fish came off. Any other day, any other day, I would not. I mean, yeah, he was hooked. Any other day, I wouldn't lose a fish like that, especially one that heavy coming unhooked. Any other day. That just never happens, and it happens today.
Another, another hit too, and I missed him. I, I can't remember the last time a big fish that I had hooked came unhooked yeah. after yeah. after fighting it for a few yeah. seconds. That is so frustrating after all that time. Finally hooked one that's definitely really good size. Had like three bites here, and I didn't manage to land a single fish. Okay, we have a fresh hook, and we're gonna put a diesel minnow slam shady on it. Slam shady is the name of the color. Flounder, little one. The, the actual bite has been a lot worse than I expected. I mean, I've had so many opportunities at big redfish and they just have not been eating my lure. The water's getting higher now, which is just gonna make it harder to, to find the redfish. But I have about two hours left and I'm not gonna give up. It's just a little trout. Not any bigger than than the one I caught earlier, so it's not gonna matter in the tournament. But it's a fish. So we have 30 minutes left in the tournament, and the water's really high, so I'm switching to a heavier jig. This is a quarter ounce. Okay, so the tournament is officially over. And of course, I think this was like one of the slowest days that I've had in like a really long time. Saw lots of fish. Lost the one, the one big one that I hooked, I lost it. I came in like seven, seventh out of 12 people. So I definitely did not do very good. I moved around a lot today looking for fish and I found a good amount of fish. This is the furthest that I've ever traveled uh, from a kayak. I think by the time I get back to the ramp, I'll have done at least like 12 miles total. So I really tried like as hard as I could, really. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do more tournaments and try to get better at it, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.